my paper a call to connectedness a psycho spiritual reading on fratelli tutti where is your brother the question god asked cain is echoing profoundly all through the encyclical fratelli tutti for francis says no one is saved alone we can only be saved together the pope clearly acknowledges the need for connectedness with one another because we are part of one another that we are brothers and sisters of one another while the first encyclical of pope francis lumen fide invites us to treasure connectedness with god in faith the second encyclical laudato si calls us to cherish connectedness with the common home nature now the third encyclical fratelli tutti urges us very eloquently to value connectedness to our fellow brethren by rising above all the obstacles against fraternity and social friendship pope earnestly desires that all keep the idea that we belong to a single human family he says let us dream then as a single human family as fellow travelers sharing the same flesh as children of the same earth which is our common home each of us bringing the richness of his or her beliefs and convictions each of us with his or her own voice brothers and sisters all this way for francis envisions the well-being of all without excluding anyone for which he proposes profound interconnectedness among all humans especially in the backdrop of pandemic covid-19 the significance of interconnectedness is evident even in the crafting of ft as the pope manifests an inclusive and all encompassing approach he acknowledges that he has drawn inspiration in writing ft from catholics non catholics namely francis assisi blessed charles de foucault martin luther king archbishop desmond tutu mahatma gandhi grand imam ahmed al taib etc it may be the first time that the name of a muslim imam is very evidently mentioned in a papal encyclical this acknowledgement of an inspiration itself shows remarkable openness of the pope to the goodness of all people cultures and religions this approach is also very much in tune with the beautiful thought found in rigveda anu badra kradavo yandu vishwatah which means let noble thoughts come to me from all directions pope also invites persons of good will present in every part of the world to be partners in carrying out the message of fraternity love justice and peace though technology and digital media has made today's world interconnected or interwoven more than any other time in history the distance between the hearts of people rich and poor powerful and powerless is getting wider day by day technology and social networking or mere hyper connectivity are not enough to build bridges instead we need true fraternal spirit with a broader heart to accept others as our brothers and sisters an excerpt from the book 12 steps to a compassionate life by karen armstrong seems to be helpful for our reflection here she writes if we continue to make our national interest and absolute value to see our cultural heritage and way of life as supreme and to regard outsiders and foreigners with suspicion and neglect their interest the interconnected global society we have created will not be viable we have a duty to get to know one another and to cultivate a concern and a responsibility for all our brother neighbors in the global village understanding different national cultural and religious traditions is no is no longer a luxury it is now a necessity and must become a priority to achieve such all embracing fraternity there must be a collective effort in local and global level which can lead to the concept of the one human family psycho spiritual perspective both spirituality and psychology emphasizes the significance of human relationship in the pursuit of spiritual as well as psychological well-being there is an imperishable desire in the heart of everyone 
to experience well-being or authentic happiness. One essential prerequisite for such experience is to be authentically connected to one another. We are social animals who are hardwired to bond and to depend on other humans. Hence, relationships and social connections are crucial to lead a meaningful life. There are two interrelated themes that run throughout the encyclical when we see it from the perspective of uh, biblical spirituality. Firstly, God is the creator, author of life, designer of all that is created, and he is the supreme master of the universe. Secondly, God created all human beings as children of God in his own image and likeness. Hence, all human beings are brothers and sisters and are children of God, and as a result, we are sisters and brothers to one another. This basic concept demands us to live and love each other as brothers and sisters. Angering on this gospel truth, the pontiff tries to bring back our attention on the basis of our connectedness in this universe. Loving and caring others must be the indispensable hallmark of Christian spirituality. As Jesus says, I give to you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. St. John in his first letter very categorically tells us, whoever loves God must also love his brother. Criteria for last judgment that are described in the Gospel of Matthew also shed light on this truth. These passages emphatically express the truth that quality of our connectedness with our brethren decides the quality of our connectedness to God as well. A true spirituality is more of inclusive in nature. There will be considerable space for everyone and everything, as in the case of St. Francis Assisi, who had nothing to exclude from his circle of love. James Fowler, an American theologian, conceptualized faith development in terms of seven stages. The final and highest stage in Fowler's ladder of faith is described as selfless faith. According to Fowler, the persons best described by this stage have generated faith compositions in which their felt sense of an ultimate environment is inclusive for all being. They become incarnators and actualizers of the spirit of, the, of a fulfilled human community. The hallmark of this highest stage is to see the universal concerns rather than of the self. Fratelli Tutti invites, us in, uh, invites all to live the universalizing dimension of faith or spiritual life, where one sees the entire humanity as one single fraternal unit with the perspective that all are for one and one is for all. Lawrence Kohlberg, an American psychologist, in his famous theory of stages of moral development, describes moral development in terms of three levels, namely pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional. A person is expected to have gradual growth in moral development and uh, gets refined in it as he or she grows in age. Kohlberg calls the final stage as the stage of universal ethical principles. At this stage, people follow the internalized principles of justice, equality, dignity, or respect. It is great that through the encyclical the Pope is directing us to grow to such kind of moral development with a universal outlook. A well-known psychologist, Alfred Adler's social interest and community feeling are two distinctive concepts that are aligned with the reflections in FT. Social interest includes striving for a better future for humanity and community feeling embodies the feeling of being connected all humanity, past, present, and future, and to being involved in making the world a better place. Additionally, Martin Seligman, father of positive psychology, identifies five essential elements for well being, happiness, namely positive emotions, engagement, relationship, meaning, and accomplishment, karma. This theoretical model posits that positive relationship or connectedness with the fellow brethren is very essential for happy living. Stay connected is the mantra proposed by both spirituality and psychology for harmonious 
happy and meaningful life. Some challenges and prospects for a connectedness mentioned in uh, FT. The Pope highlights many obstacles that affect true connectedness and fraternal spirit. Aggressive nationalism, a global economy that promotes individual interests, a throwaway culture, and the lack of concern for the environment are hindering the realization of universal brotherhood. Pope wants that fraternity will be a vague ideal if the human dignity of disabled, poor, women, etc., is not upheld. In the encyclical Pope Francis says, social friendship and a universal fraternity necessarily call for an acknowledgement of the worth of every human person, always and everywhere. We need to encounter other person as our brother like Good Samaritan, rising above distances and barriers, accepting the reality that we need each other, especially in the present and post-pandemic COVID-19 scenario. Conclusion. We need a counterculture, a culture that promotes connectedness in interpersonal, intercultural, interreligious, intersocietal, and international level to make this world a better place. Furthermore, the psycho-spiritual understanding of Fratelli Tutti enlightens that it is significant to cherish the, the concept of connectedness for the holistic well-being of all in the universe. In nutshell, it is like bringing heaven to the earth where there is ideal fraternal spirit. Applying the saying of St. Kuriakos Elias Chavra about Christian family, a good Christian family is the image of heaven and taking the spirit of Fratelli Thuthi into consideration, I would say, the global human family can be the image of heaven, provided all follow the ideals of fraternity and social friendship proposed by France, Pope Francis in the encyclical, resonating the question in our hearts, where is my brother or sister? Thank you.